the last 10 months, I've had an ongoing communication with him that is as open as simply calling. He has never failed to answer. He has never failed to listen. And I have been absolutely astounded. I've had 55 years of public ministry, and I will shout this from the housetop. I have never met a person when wisdom walks in the room who is more attentive, who is more humble, who expresses greater meekness and appreciation for what's now wrote. And I'm finding him more and more impressed by people who actually love the Father and love their neighbor. And I'm watching his life change. I watch his family reaching out. The love they have for their father and one another needs to be an example to Christians to start loving our father and loving one another. And I pray with the family tomorrow in a private gathering. And Mr. Trump said to me Sunday, and I'm going to tell you the visit with him Sunday was so great that when I hung up, I shouted so loud, I hurt baby's ears. And I said, this was absolutely indescribable. And I'm just praising God. But let me share this with you so you'll understand how to pray for it. And I want to say this. Remember, Jesus was the greatest teacher, the greatest sower of perfect seed, truth, and thoughts. And he had his bunch for three years. And they still didn't look too good after three years. <laughs> Consider Simon Peter. As a matter of fact, you would never have approved him preaching at Pentecost after what he had just done. So what I'm saying to you is, do not measure a man by every step, but by the progress he will make. <laughs> The night when the tide turned, I called. The moment Trump heard my voice, he said, it's James to his man. It's James. Prayers being answered. And he said, here comes Governor Pence. He wants to thank God. Thank you. Thank the evangelicals. Thank the Christians. And we have a shout down. The next morning, and by the way, he gave a very humble, gracious speech. Wouldn't we let him to see a few more of those for the rest of his life? It was an awesome speech. The next morning, I said to my wife and two friends, we pray all night. I said, now that he's president, let's give him a call and see if he's still anxious to talk. <laughs> no way to describe the joy, the gratitude, the love for the evangelicals, the Christians, everyone that believes in nature's God and nature's law. And I said, sir, from the time we met, I promised to do everything possible to surround you with wisdom, with prayer and love. And he said, James, surround me. Surround me. And don't you ever let me commit this. Is that what you said? Perfect. Now I'm saying to you, let's surround me with unconditional love. Let's sow seeds of truth. Let's not give the enemy an inch. And let's lift this president as the Almighty God.